Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Come, let us praise the Lord, in him is all our delight. Come, let us sing to the Lord, and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving, and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come, let us praise the Lord, in him is all our delight. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth, and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come, Come let us praise the Lord, in him is all our delight. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Come, let us praise the Lord, in him is all our delight. Today listen to the voice of the Lord, do not grow stubborn as your fathers did. In the wilderness, when at Meribah and Massa, they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Come, let us praise the Lord, in him is all our delight. Forty years I endured that generation, I said they are people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Come, let us praise the Lord, in him is all our delight. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto, sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper, et in saecula saeculorum. Amen. Come, let us praise the Lord, in him is all our delight. Christ is made the sure foundation, Christ the head, the cornerstone, chosen of the Lord and precious, binding all the church in one. Holy Zion's help forever and her confidence alone. All that dedicated city, dearly loved of God on high, in exultant jubilation pours perpetual melody. God the one in three adoring in glad hymns eternally. To this temple where we call thee, come, O Lord of hosts, today. With thy wonted loving kindness, hear thy servants as they pray, and thy fullest benediction sheds within its walls always. Here vouchsafe to all thy servants what they ask of thee to gain, what they gain from thee forever with the blessed to retain and hereafter in thy glory evermore with thee to reign laud and honor to the father laud and honor to the son laud and honor to the spirit ever three and ever one consubstantial, co-eternal, while unending ages run. Amen.
Amen. A humble, contrite heart, O God, you will not spurn. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness. In your compassion, blot out my offense. O、oh, wash me more and more from my guilt. And cleanse me from my sin. My offenses, truly I know them. My sin is always before me. Against you, you alone have I sinned. What is evil in your sight, I have done. That you may be justified when you give sentence. And be without reproach when you judge. O、oh, see, in guilt I was born; a sinner was I conceived. Indeed, you loved her in the heart. Then, in the secret of my heart, teach me wisdom. O、oh, purify me, then I shall be clean. O、oh, wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear rejoicing and gladness, that the bones you have crushed may revive. From my sins, turn away your face and blot out all my guilt. A pure heart, create for me, O God. Put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your help. With the spirit of fervor, sustain me, that I may teach transgressors your ways, and sinners may return to you. O、oh, rescue me, God, my helper, and my tongue shall ring out your goodness. O、oh, Lord, open my lips. And my mouth shall declare your praise, for in sacrifice you take no delight. Burnt offering from me you would refuse. My sacrifice, a contrite spirit, a humbled contrite heart, you will not spurn. In your goodness show favor to Zion. Rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will be pleased with lawful sacrifice, holocausts offered on your altar. Gloria patri et filio et spiritui sancto. Sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper et in secula seculorum amen. A humble, contrite heart, O God, you will not spurn. Even in your anger, Lord. You will remember compassion, O Lord. I have heard your renown and feared, O Lord, your work. In the course of the years, revive it. In the course of the years, make it known. In your wrath, remember compassion. God comes from Teman, the Holy One from Mount Paran. Covered are the heavens with His glory, and with His praise the earth is filled. His splendor spreads like the light; rays shine forth from beside Him, where His power is concealed. 
You come forth to save your people, to save your anointed one. You tread the sea with your steeds, amid the churning of the deep waters. I hear and my body trembles, at the sound my lips quiver. Decay invades my bones, my legs tremble beneath me. I await the day of distress that will come upon the people who attack us. For though the fig tree blossom not, nor fruit be on the vines, though the yield of the olive fail, and the terraces produce no nourishment, though the flocks disappear from the fold, and there be no herd in the stalls, yet will I rejoice in the Lord, and exult in my saving God. God my Lord is my strength, he makes my feet swift as those of hinds, and enables me to go upon the heights. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto, sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper, et in saecula saeculorum. Amen. Even in your anger, Lord, you will remember compassion. Oh, praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Oh, praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Zion, praise your God. He has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed the children within you. He established peace on your borders. He feeds you with finest wheat. He sends out his word to the earth and swiftly runs his command. He showers down snow white as wool. He scatters hoarfrost like ashes. He hurls down hailstones like crumbs. The waters are frozen at his touch. He sends forth his word and it mounts them. At the breath of his mouth the waters flow. He makes his word known to Jacob. To Israel his laws and decrees. He has not dealt thus with other nations. He has not taught them his decrees. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto. Sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper et in saecula saeculorum. Amen. O oh, praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Now in Christ Jesus, you who once were far off, have been brought near through the blood of Christ. It is he who is our peace, and who made the two of us one by breaking down the barrier of hostility that kept us apart. In his own flesh, he abolished the law with its commands and precepts to create in himself one new man from us who had been two and to make peace, reconciling both of us to God in one body through his cross, which put that enmity to death. The Lord the Most High has done good things for me. In need I shall cry out to him. The Lord the Most High has done good things for me. In need I shall cry out to him. May he send his strength to rescue me. In need I shall cry out to him. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto. 
The Lord the Most High has done good things for me. In need I shall cry out to Him. Through the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto, sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. Through the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. From your generosity we have received the beginning of this day. Grant us also the beginning of new life. You created all things and now you provide for their growth. May we always perceive your handiwork in creation. With your own blood you ratified the new and eternal covenant. May we remain faithful to that covenant by following your precepts. On the cross, blood and water flowed from your side. May this saving stream wash away our sins and gladden the city of God. In your will is our peace, Lord. Pater noster, qui es in celis, sanctificetur nomen tuum, adveniat renum tuum, Fiat voluntas tua, sicut in cielo et in terra, panem nostrum quotidianum da nobis hodie, et dimite nobis debita nostra, sicut et nos dimitimus debitoribus nostris, et ne nos inducas in tentationem, sed libera nos amalo. O oh, powerful Father, as now we bring you our songs of praise, so may we sing your goodness in the company of your saints forever. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Dominus nos benedicat et malo defendat, et ad vitam perducat eternam. Amen. At the cross her station keeping stood the mournful mother weeping. Close to Jesus to the last, through her heart his sorrow sharing, all his bitter anguish bearing. Now at length the sword has passed. Oh, how sad and sore distressed 
was that mother highly blessed of the sole begotten one. Christ above in torment hangs, she beneath beholds the pains of her dying glorious son.